Hello, welcome to the topic 10 of ratio before and after. So the objective is to learn how to apply external exchange concept and identify which object has no change in that value. So in example one, the ratio of the number of apple to the number of oranges in a basket is three to two. And there were 40 more apples than oranges. So we may like to underline this 40 more, circle the ratio. After some oranges were removed from the basket, the number of apples become twice of the number of oranges. How many oranges are there in the end? So here, the apple is twice of the oranges. So method one, okay, is to take three minus two equal to one to find out, okay, the 40 more is how many unit. So that is one unit. And you times three, so there are 120 apples at first. Then you divide by two, there are six oranges in the end. Second method is to find out the ratio. So before apple to orange, three to two, apple to orange, after that is two to one. And the question say only oranges are were removed. So that means the apples should be the same. But here, the apples is different. So to make it the same, you thumb two, to make it the same, you thumb three, and that's how we get six and six. So now we compare. The four become the three. What happened? That's because Oranges will remove. So let's find out first. Okay. So 6 minus 4, 2 units. So the 2 units are 40 more apples. Divide by 2, 1 unit is 20. Then since we know that, okay, the oranges only have 3 units in the end. So you just find the 3 units and that gives us 60 oranges. Now, Mr. Tan gives you 3 minutes to do this question.
Okay, so here it says that there are one touch as many boys as girls in the auditorium. So that means one unit is the boy, three units is the girls. And there were 24 more boys, more girls than boys. So after some boys left the auditorium, there were four times as many girls as boys. How many boys left the auditorium? So before, boy to girl is one, two, three. After that, the boy to girl become one to four. So girl is four times. So there were 24 more girls than boys. So let's make the ratio same first. The girls will be the same. So here three, I thumb four, I get 12. Here I thumb three, I get 12. Because only boys left, so girls will be the same. So here I will get three, here I will get four. So let's find out how many boys, how many girls at first. So you say there were 24 more girls than boys. So 12 minus four, that's eight. So eight unit more. So eight units is the 24. Then one unit will be 24 divided by eight, three. So four unit will be three times four, 12. So there are 12 boys at first. Next, this is the 12 units. So there will be three times 12, 36. So there are 36 girls at first. So, Next, I need to find the three units also. So, uh, actually, don't need to do because here, if you look carefully, I uh, from four to three. So, four minus three is one unit. And the answer is three boys left the auditorium. Now we come to mastery level two. So in mastery level two, the objective is to learn how to apply a standard unchanged concept and identify with objects no change the value. Then we make refraction and repeat the identity concept. So example one, it say the ratio of the number of adults to the children is seven to eight. So after 30 adults left the hall, the number of adults become one out of two of the children. That means the adult uh, is one unit, the children is two unit. So how many people we make at the hall? So before adult, the children is seven to eight. After that is four to, uh, one to two. So because only adult left, when we walk away, the children should be the same. So children here eight, so two I need to make it the same. So I have eight also by thumb four. So here also a thumb four. So the ratio seven to eight, four to eight. I compare seven to four, three unit. So three unit left the thirty. So one unit will be ten. Then how many people we made in the hall? In the end, four plus eight is twelve unit. So one hundred and twenty people we made in the hall. Mr. Tan give you three minutes to do this practice question.
Okay, for question one, he say the ratio of the number of adults to the number of children is one to three. So we can take adults join the party, there will be seven, nine as many adult children. How many people are there at first? So before adult to children is one to three. After can take adult join, so adult seven followed by children is nine. So can take adult join, that means the children should be the same. So three and nine, so I make it the same by time three. So now I get three to nine. Then I compare. So from three to seven, can take adult join, that means there's an increase of four units. So four units is your 20 adults. Then one unit is five. So 20 divided by four is five. Now they ask how many people are there all together at first. So three plus nine, that's if you 12. So you need to find the 12 units. So 12 units equal to five times 12, 60. Answer is 60. And now we come to mastery level three. So the objective is to apply external unchanged concept and identify which object has no change the value and make repression and repeat the identity concept. So example one, it says the ratio of the number of apples to orange is three to two. So after the eight apples are rotten and thrown away, the number of oranges is twice of the number of apples. How many fruits are there in the end? So before apple to orange is three to two, after that, apple to orange is one to three because orange is twice. So, since apples are rotten and thrown away, the orange must be the same. So, two and three, common multiple is six. And to get six, this ratio are thumb three. So, I get nine to six. This ratio are thumb two. So, I get two to six. Now, I compare from nine to two, okay. Seven units. So seven units are the rotten. So they ask for how many fruits are there in the end. So my goal is to find two plus six, eight units. So I find one unit is four, eight units will be four times eight, 32. Okay, now Mr. Tan give you three minutes to do this practice question.
Hey, question one. So you say the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys in the auditorium was 3 to 5. So after 190 girls enter, the boys is too few the number of girls. How many children are at the auditorium in the end? So before that, <coughs> girl to boy is 3 to 5. So after that, the girl to boy is 5 to 2. So 190 girls enter means the boys will remain the same. So I mean then the common multiple and that's 10. To get 10, here times 2 times 2 and here times 5 times 5. So this is 6 to 10, this is 25 to 10. So now we can compare. So this 190 girls enter, that means from 6 to 25 it increase by 19 units. So this 19 units is 190 girls. So one unit will be 10. Then they ask how many children are in the auditorium in the end. So in the end, there are 25 plus 10, 35. So 35 units, 10 times 35, 350. So answer is 350. Mastery level four is to apply constant difference. So you say that the ratio of the length of root A to root B was 3 to 4. After 20 cm are cut and removed from each root, the ratio of the length becomes 1 to 3. What is the original length of root A at first? So before A to B is 3 to 4, after that A to B is 1 to 3. But since 20 cm are cut, the difference is still the same. So maybe I, I use a model to help you understand. Here is 3 units. Here is 4 units. So it's being cut, take away, take away. Here you see that the difference if we remain the same. So you need to understand the question and apply. Since we know the difference is the same, here we find the difference is one unit, the difference is two unit. So we time two, the ratio is six to eight. So now it's one to three. We compare from six to one, decrease by five unit. So the five unit is the 20 cm. And one unit will be 20 divided by 4, 4. And to find root A at first, there is 6 unit. So 6 times 4, 24. So root A is 24. Now, Mr. Tang, you have 3 minutes to do the practice question.
Okay, so question one, he said the ratio of John saving to Alice saving is one to two. So John to Alice, one to two, this before. So this of them give away $1,000. So now after that, John to Alice is two out of five. So two to five. So what happened is that since each of them all give away 1,000, the difference right, must be the same. So here the difference is one unit. Here, the difference is three unit. So one and three, what you need to do is you take this times three. So you got the ratio of three to six. Now you compare from three to two, six to five, is the one unit. That is $1,000. So what is John saving? So John saving is three unit. So that is 3,000. Answer is 3,000.